Hey guys, watch this video till the end to know who has won this beautiful postcard and what are the contest details for today. Let's go to the video now. Friends, I am on a mission here to grow a community of travel enthusiasts. Please subscribe to join the tribe. This summer, I was on a ride of my lifetime. It was a solo 120 km cycling trip I had taken to the beautiful Izu Islands from Tokyo. The trip took me to beautiful places like Chigasaki, Odawara, Atami, Ito, Kawazu and Shimoda. This trip was not easy, believe me. I had to cycle all the way down 120 km, climb the elevation of 2.5 km to basically reach the destinations I had set out for. And on the first day, when I uh, finished my 60 km ride to reach Odawara, completely broken and tired, this is how the scene looked like. I've reached Odawara now. I'm just uh, searching for my hostel. Once I uh, find my hostel, I will be uh, dropping off my luggage, resting for a bit, and then uh, pushing off. Friends, welcome back. This is Ganesh here, signing in from GC Vlogs. For all the new viewers, welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button to join the tribe. Yes, friends, I have reached Odawara. Uh, just freshened up. Uh, be, uh, and now I am going towards the station to uh, catch a train to a place called as Manazuru and uh, Manazuru has got a really beautiful uh, coastline and it's got some uh, special historical place as well to get to know what it is stay tuned I'll be uh, taking you there so the plan is uh, go to Manazuru view uh, the place come back go to Odawara castle and uh, then have some nice dinner somewhere and uh, close the day so that we can uh, start early towards Atami tomorrow. That is what is the plan for now. And let's see how we, uh, the plan goes. Yeah, I got into the station and uh, right now I am going to catch a train. The train is at uh, 3.48 and I will be uh, reaching somewhere by around uh, 3 o'clock, sorry, 2.48 and I'll be reaching uh, Manazuru by around uh, 3 o'clock. That should be uh, it because I have a bus at, to catch at 3 5. So it's going to be exactly cut to cut. So let's see how to manage that. Here comes the train, the Acti to Atami, and I'm going to get him to this train here. I'm inside the train and departing uh, Odawara now. So uh, I have another 15 minutes to get on to Manazuru from there and get my bus so yeah this is how the train looks like and uh, yeah this is like a normal train it's called Acti and it goes towards Atami so if you have to go to Manazuru then you have to catch a train to Atami and uh, yeah get down at uh, Manazuru so I have arrived at Manazuru. I'm rushing towards the bus stop because I have exactly four minutes to catch the bus. So you must say Mitsuno Ishiwa. Did you this car? Hi. So I am in a bus I'm going towards uh, something called as Mitsuno Ishi. Um, this is one one of the very beautiful place uh, which I've seen and it's got some historical importance or rather uh, not historical per se religious importance because there are three rocks one uh, father rock mother rock and a child rock which have been married so that is something that we are gonna see and the view is uh, just amazing I think you are gonna enjoy it So friends, I have finally reached and I've got to go down that way to go to the location. And yeah, the bus I took was uh, bus number three to Cape Manazuru. You got to come all the way to Cape Manazuru to uh, basically get to this location. And uh, the buses are at a frequency of one hour. So you got to really plan. And the last bus that returns to the station is at uh, 16.29. That is 429. You got to go down 
uh, to the location so it's a steep hike and uh, yeah it's going to be uh, what do you say elevation coming up so you got to plan for it i think this is one of those locations which i will uh, probably never forget because of uh, sheer beauty these beautiful rocks according to shinto mythology are married and the sacred thread called shimenawa between them represent their union the larger rock is a man and a smaller rock is a female so yes uh, we are back to manazuru station it was a night shot hop and uh, i was able to make it to the bus stop pretty much in time so i think you should uh, factor in that uh, 10 minutes or so for the climb right now i am at uh, manazuru station and heading back towards uh, odavara i'm back in odavara now heading towards the castle and uh, let's see how much time the castle goes and uh, based on that we will plan the rest of the action for today i think uh, we need to start from here this is the odavara station it's also quite beautiful per se so yeah let's go from odavara station now so we are now entering the gates of odavara castle this is how the castle looks like this is the odavara castle you can see there's a orange sky backdrop and a white structure this is basically the odavara castle uh, the odavara castle was built in uh, 1447 and it was rebuilt in 1663 and uh, this castle was in use uh, during the kamakura period uh, for those who are interested in the history of this castle i'll be uh, giving that in the description below you can read it for yourself and uh, yeah i tried to enter the castle but uh, the castle gates or the entry gate closes at uh, 5 o'clock 1700 so i was late by around 20 minutes and uh, i am uh, missed getting an entry into the castle so that is how uh, but i think from the outside you can look and uh, yeah this is how the castle looks from the outside after finishing the castle it was time to have some good food so i finally found one indian restaurant here at the restaurant i had my dinner of naan salad and curry really tired i finished my dinner went back to the hostel and dozed off okay i just crossed that 0.5 km tunnel and uh, i'm right now standing on route 135 uh, and i am around uh, 12 km from ito and you can see ashwa is uh, just taking some kind of rest here is fully loaded he is also tired i believe i am as well tired but i think uh, i set out a challenge when i started in the morning to uh, ride till ito come what me if you like the video and the content please subscribe to join the tribe your one sub and a like matters welcome back hope you like that video press the like button and share this video with your friends coming to the contest from last week thank you very much for the overwhelming response that you have showered on my channel because of the overwhelming number of responses that i have received i have decided to give away three postcards three postcards instead of two you heard it right i'll be giving away three postcards instead of two so there will be three winners instead of two now coming to the winner names the winners are first gautam second prajakta third vegnevem v e g n e w e p now the names of the winners are on the side of the screen now coming to this week's contest The question is what is the time taken to travel between Odawara to Manazuru I repeat the question what is the time taken to travel between Odawara to Manazuru you know the drill send in your responses through email or comments below email id is right now flashing and uh, for the contest winners from last week send in your addresses to the given below email id to receive your postcards the faster you send the faster you get so that's it for today i'll see you on uh, 5th of september with a new episode and until then 
take care love you all peace